In a small village nestled between rolling hills, there lived a group of talented artisans. Among them was a young woman named Aliza, known for her exceptional skill in creating beautiful quilts. Aliza's quilts were sought after not only for their warmth but for the intricate patterns and vibrant colors that adorned them. Aliza had a unique approach to her craft, while others aimed for perfection in every stitch and fabric choice. She embraced imperfections. She believed that it was these flaws that gave her quilts character and made them truly special. Instead of discarding fabrics with blemishes, she carefully incorporated them into her designs, creating one-of-a-kind masterpieces that told stories through stitches. One sunny morning, as Aliza sat in her cozy cottage stitching a new quilt, a well-known quilt collector named Isabella paid her a visit. Isabella had heard about Aliza's exceptional quilts and traveled from a distant city to see them. For herself, upon entering Aliza's cottage, Isabella was taken aback by the sight of the quilts hanging on the walls. Their vibrant colors and unique patterns danced before her eyes, and she could hardly contain her excitement. As she examined each quilt, she marveled at the imperfections that made them stand out. She turned to Aliza and said, Your quilts are unlike anything I've ever seen. The way you embrace imperfections is truly remarkable. Aliza smiled warmly and invited Isabella to stay for tea. As they sat sipping tea, Isabella shared stories of her travels and the many quilts she had collected over the years. She explained that most collectors prized quilts for their flawless craftsmanship, and imperfections were often seen as undesirable. Curious, Aliza asked, Why do you think imperfections are undesirable? Don't they add character and uniqueness to each piece? Quote. Isabella pondered for a moment and then replied. You know, in the world of collectors, perfection is often associated with rarity and value. But your quilts have opened my eyes to a different perspective. Imperfections do tell stories. And they make each quilt special in its own way. As the conversation continued. Isabella realized that she had been missing out on the true essence of quilting. She had been so focused on finding flawless pieces that she had overlooked the beauty in embracing imperfections. Inspired by Aliza's philosophy, Isabella decided to change her approach to collecting. She wanted to seek out quilts that carried the stories of their creators. Imperfections and all. Over the following weeks, Isabella and Aliza developed a deep friendship. Isabella began to commission quilts from Aliza, each with a specific theme and a blend of flawless and imperfect fabrics. Aliza poured her heart into each creation, ensuring that the imperfections were woven into the designs with care. Word of Isabella's transformation spread, and other collectors started to question their own biases against imperfections. Aliza's approach began to influence the entire quilting community, and a new appreciation for the beauty of embracing imperfections emerged. As the years went by, Aliza's cottage became a hub of creativity and acceptance. Artisans from all around would gather to share their crafts, each incorporating their own unique imperfections into their work. The village became known for its vibrant, diverse, and imperfectly perfect creations. And so, the remarkable patchwork quilt that Aliza weaved with her philosophy of embracing imperfections not only warmed bodies but also hearts and minds. The villagers once dismissed flaws were now celebrated as essential parts of a greater masterpiece. The moral of the story remained clear. Just as every thread, every fabric, and every stitch had a place in Aliza's quilts. So too did imperfections have a place in the fabric of life. Adding depth, character, and beauty to the world around us.